Hey everyone, I'm Ross Swanton 007, the wrestling reviewer, here to do the newest pay-per-view review, and that is of Elimination Chamber 2012. Uh, now what I'm going to do today, I am watching the match and I'm going to review it straight away, I ordered the pay-per-view. Uh, so, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so the first match of the night was the uh, Raw Elimination Chamber, and to be honest, it was probably close to one of the worst Elimination Chambers I've ever seen before, uh, close to New Year's Revolution. Um, ah, what happened? Uh, fucking... Uh, the crowd was not into it at all. It was just uh, really slow paced. Lots of stuff happened on like the steel which caused a lot of the guys in the ring to really slow down a lot which I think killed the match a bit. Um, you know there were some good spots like Kofi Kingston hit a swinging DDT on uh, Dolph Ziggler on the steel. Uh, he, Kofi Kingston also jumped off the top of a pod. You know he did the usual John Morrison stuff but not with, not with as much style. Um, uh, the only other notable thing really in the night, Miz got to the second person and it looked like something happened to Jericho because Punk kicked him in the head, he fell out of the chamber and he kind of got concussed. Now, the thing that makes me think that it was a storyline was they didn't put up the X because they were saying he was concussed and stuff. He knocked, he definitely knocked his head on some equipment. Um, but he was eliminated after that. Uh, and The Miz and CM Punk went out in the last two people, which uh, really makes you think if something actually did happen to Jericho because you don't think going into WrestleMania that they'd just uh, make Jericho injured or whatever and leave him out of the Elimination Chamber and have Punk win over The Miz. Um, so I think something's definitely happened there. Overall, I'm going to give the match a three stars because it was really just lackluster. Uh... Our truth went first, Ziggler second, then Kofi, then uh, Jericho, then Miz. CM Punk retains. Uh, very disappointing elimination chamber. So match number two tonight was the Divas Championship match between Beth Phoenix and Tamina. You know, the, the thing that everybody thought happened didn't happen. Karma did not return to take out Beth Phoenix. Uh, but uh, Beth Phoenix did retain. Tamina hit a... Um, Hit a uh, Superfly sma Splash, uh, Beth Phoenix hit the Glam Slam. Nothing really to this match, just Beth getting over as a bigger heel. I think the crowd sort of losing out to a gimmick, but can't wait for Karma to return and take her out. So I'm giving that match uh, three quarters of a star. Okay, so next we've got a segment. Uh, John Laurinaitis does his big... Uh, uh, whatever he was doing announcement, uh, it's just him try campaigning to be the uh, permanent general manager of Raw and SmackDown's general manager, getting rid of Teddy Long. Uh, then you have uh, Alberto Del Rio, Del Rio returning in an awesome Excalibur from years back. Really good car, comes out, campaigns for him. Then you've got Mark Henry returning, comes out and says some stuff. And then you've got Christian returning, which just really pissed me off, because I was hoping he was going to take out Santino and take his spot in the uh, SmackDown Elimination Chamber, but that didn't happen. Just good to see Christian back, good to see Alberto Del Rio back. Uh, yeah, not much of a segment, though. Um, hopefully we don't see him as uh, permanent general manager of either of the brands, because that would just be horrible. Okay, so next match was the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, which really surprised me. I didn't think they'd put John Cena and Kane up last, especially what's been happening. I think there's going to be another match in the night. But through the night, they've been having Santino doing Rocky training videos. Not that funny, but they were trying to be, but, you know. Um, so this match, everybody went into this thinking it's going to be terrible. I've just watched it. It started off incredibly boring. Uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, Wade Barrett, and Big Show started off. They were the main three, the first three. Uh, then Great Carly came in. Big Show pretty much eliminated straight away, which was good because Carly would have just brought the whole match down. Carly was just filling in a spot. Um, and from here on, it was... A, after that, it was... Oh, sorry, after that, it was pretty boring. 
Then Santino came in. Uh, Big Show just got rid of all of them. And now a spot that's going to be remembered in Elimination Chamber history is Big Show broke into Daniel Bryan's cage and got to him before uh, Daniel Bryan was actually allowed out. Really good stuff. From there on in, the boring chant stopped and it became an ama- It became a really, really good Elimination Chamber. Um, Cody Rhodes uh, eliminated uh, Big Show with a bit of help from Wade Barrett. Uh, as Cody's like celebrating, uh, Santino comes in and gets a pin. Really good stuff. Um, then you've so, then you've got uh, Wade Barrett, uh, Santino, and Daniel Bryan, and these guys go for broke. Wade Barrett and Daniel Bryan had a some had a great uh, little sequence, some really brutal stuff. Uh, Daniel Bryan's neck got like slammed in between the uh, the pod door and the pod or whatever. It was just brutal. I sent shivers down my spine when I saw that. But in the end, uh, there was a little, uh, really scared me, a bit of a false finish. Santino hit the Cobra on Daniel Bryan in the last two. My God, I shat myself almost. But uh, Santino got, uh, Santino didn't pin him and Daniel Bryan got the love bell lock in. That was, uh, this match needed to perform to get the uh, pay-per-view back in a good standing with me. I was really disappointed so far with that pay-per-view. This one was great. This match was great. Four and a quarter stars really got my hopes back up about this pay-per-view. I still don't have any hopes about this fucking John Cena Kane match, uh, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so the next match was set up by Teddy Long just before it. Uh, it's just a filler match, getting Swagger on the card. Swagger versus uh, Justin Gabriel. Swagger wins in like six minutes or something with a ankle lock. Um, I'm going to give it a one and three quarter stars. Uh, couldn't have done much with the time. Wasn't really paying that much attention anyway. One three quarter stars. Uh, let's move on. Okay, now, for some reason, the main event of the night was the ambulance match between John Cena and Kane. Uh, This match was what it should be. John Cena dominated, Kane dominated. Kane chokeslammed him off the steel steps through the announcer's table, the Spanish announcer's table, which I picked as soon as I saw the announcer's table, something would happen in this match. Um, uh, uh, John Cena gets back, he chokeslams him, off the top of the ambulance and then puts him in the ambulance and John Cena wins, preparing him for WrestleMania. Just the usual thing here, two and a quarter stars. You know, they tried to mix it up at the TLC pay-per-view, which I believe got good buys. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, making John Cena the main event again, This really, sh- the main event really should have been uh, the World Heavyweight Championship match, even the WWE Championship match. Either one of them should have been the main event. Uh, but John Cena coming out on top, this is very much just a... Seemed like a raw... Felt like a raw match. Um, the only thing is that it had the gimmick. Yeah, so overall I'm going to give the pay-per-view a 4.75 out of 10. Because the only really good match on this card was the uh, SmackDown Elimination Chamber. The Raw Elimination Chamber was a real disappointment. Especially because everyone thought that would be the match of the night. Um... Yeah, guys, so I'm a Swanton007. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm finally going to get that Stone Cold DVD review up in a couple days. I swear to God, I'm just going to take some pictures and then put it all together. Um, So thanks for watching, guys.